This is my custom lightsaber blade control board. It will control the LEDs just like a stock lightsaber blade would do, but it's got a few extra features in it. I'm going to go ahead and assemble this now. I'm just going to tape that down like so. Here we go. That is too much solder paste. There you go. That's how that's going to go. The next step now is to apply hot air. Doesn't have to be perfect. There's the solder starting to flow. Before I put anything else on, I want to program the microcontroller. Slap that down, put the pogo pins right into the holes. No errors appear, that tells me that the program was successful. Good enough. Start putting components down. One microfarad. The purpose of R8, some weird ghost effects. That's a 3.3 volt voltage regulator. This is a 3.3 volt voltage regulator. Why have two 3.3 volt voltage regulators? Some weird ghost effects. Okay, hot air time. Now it's time to do the top half. I'm gonna come in here and start throwing down some solder paste. I mean, they're so tiny though. The MOSFETs, there are three of them, each represent a color, red, green, and blue. So when one turns on, the corresponding color in your blade will turn on. And there are four segments in a blade. Each segment, power to each segment, is controlled by one of these transistors. And there is the assembled board. Well, almost assembled. Two capacitors that I still need to add. 330 microfarad bulk capacitors. They're just big reservoirs of electricity. So I'm just gonna insert them like so. Is good. Installed. I just need to trim the leads now. And then these are gonna bend over a little something like that. And then, uh, and install it. A Galaxy's Edge lightsaber blade. Remove three screws. Pull on it hard. Pull this out. There we go. Lift up and the top comes off. Disconnect these three wires here that go to the blade connector. There we go. All three are out. This is the part that's a little tricky. Flood all these joints at the same time. No, oh, and look at that. That went so much quicker than I was expecting it to. That is a Galaxy's Edge lightsaber blade LED string ready to be attached to a new blade controller. How do we attach this to the blade? Notches here that are going to get soldered to those two pads on either side of where it says Frank. Line that hole up. I want this to be flat as can be. Don't be afraid to use a lot of solder here. Now we want to do the top half. And this is actually much easier than you think it's going to be. And here we go. Connections essentially make themselves. I should have taped this down. Perfect connection. So the last step is to wire up the connector, which is this thing here. Here are the wires on the back. Positive, ground, and white is data. There are lots of other ways. This is not the way I normally do it. I don't know why I'm doing it this way. There's your blade connector. Wire's going down into the PCB. Let's reassemble it. Pegs sticking up, that goes on the bottom. And then the top half of that goes right over it. This needs to go back in the tube. The little hole goes on the bottom. Now the connector has a notch there. That's gonna go towards the bottom here. Make sure those wires are away from the screw holes on either side. Everything looking pretty good. Top guide, top half. Push together. I'm putting my finger into the, the slot here and torquing my finger a little bit. I've got a Savvy's Workshop lightsaber hilt. Okay, it detected the blade. And it's turned on and I'm getting white. Excellent, so the blade is working. Let's see if the programming is all there. Let's uh, change modes. 
This is a color picker mode and it's going through different colors. I think I want pink. That's a hot pink. Okay, so now I've got pink selected. All right, now we're into uh, blade effects. This is the animation that I prefer. Color changing. Color changing in that it's just doing a smooth cycle through all colors. Uh, segmented colors. Each segment has a separate color. Uh, you can sort of see the colors flowing down the blade. Static. Each segment has its own separate color. If I want to reset everything, all I have to do is cycle the power switch a lot, like this. And when you hear that noise, the hilt thinking that the blade has been removed, that lets you know that the blade has been reset. And then it makes the noise again. The blade to the hilt's electronics has been reinserted after the reset. And now we can turn it on. We're back to white. And that is how to make a custom lightsaber blade.